Hi guys, it's Designs by Rach. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be making a different style of dessert stand. It's quite stylish and would be great for your treats, desserts and birthday cakes. So if you're looking to add a dessert stand to your inventory, this would be a nice one. A list of the items used will be in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please remember to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any tutorial. So here I'll be cutting two pieces of PVC pipes that are about 13 and a half inches long. Um, these will go in right in the middle of the 3D structure. I'm also going to make markings of about an inch apart. This would serve as a guide in placement of the dowel rods.
So the first middle um, PVC pipe was placed in one direction. The second will be placed in the opposite direction. This is very important in forming the, the design in the middle. So as you see, I'm making an X so that I place the second PVC piece to face the opposite direction. So now I'm placing the dowel rods in the middle using my glue gun and the E6000 glue. But I think I prefer using the glue gun because the E6000 was not drying up as quickly as I wanted it to. So um, whichever, you, whichever glue you feel comfortable using, you can go ahead and use that. But I just found that the glue gun dried up much quicker and it made the process easier. decided to trim some of the dowel rods because I think they were a little longer than the 3D structure and for some reason this particular sets of um, rods were not equal so you might find yourself cutting out a piece of probably an inch or half an inch length of dowel rod
So I spray painted the entire structure with the gold spray paint and it looked really good. But I'm just going to add my 12 inch mirror on the top of it because I think it gives it a finished look. So it's really optional. If you don't have a mirror, you can just leave it as gold spray paint on the top. So guys, this is what the finished product looks like. I think it looks way better in person. What a showstopper. It's such a unique piece because each time you rotate the table, you always get a different look. So I'd say this is a three in one table because each time you rotate it, you get a different look each time. It's such a fun piece that you can have so much use out of this table. I think I like this side better. What do you think? This would really look nice with your balloon backdrops or with your grass wall, whatever you have going on in the background and you have these lovely stands in front of it. It would be so nice, guys you should try this out i'm so happy sharing this with you guys and i hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial thank you so much for joining me today have a blessed week and see you soon